what's up guys want to do a quick video of my new truck this is the 2021 Ram 2500 heavy duty with the Cummins uh, I wanted to do a brief overview um, and just really my impressions so far uh, I've had this truck for about two weeks and I absolutely love it um, it's the night edition I have the sticker here so I want to go over some of the the features so this is the night edition with the billet steel metallic paint this is not the typical silver paint this is an upcharge um, they charge an extra two hundred dollars for this paint it's kind of I'm not sure if it's how clear it's gonna come out here but it's kind of a grainy like more natural um, color when you get close to it it kind of has like a, uh, a raw um, metal type look to it which is really sweet obviously I said this is the night edition which does come with all blacked accents which is really cool you, you got the grill uh, the tow hooks all the headlights is in black trim obviously you've got all the badges blacked out as well um, in the best part obviously you got the wheels that are blacked out too and I typically hate factory black wheels because they have like a, a shiny you know finish to them but these are really well done they're uh, like a matte powder coat 20 inch and it comes with uh, these Transforce Firestones um, 285 6020 R's so like I said I've had this truck for about two weeks now uh, this is the crew cab with the six and a half foot or six uh, foot and four inch I believe bed um, I do wish it was a longer bed I'm coming from a uh, Silverado 2020 Silverado half ton uh, that had I believe a six foot nine inch bed and it's kind of hard having this thing be a little bit smaller than that but I do like having the full-size cab again I, I did have a couple years ago a Ford F-250 heavy-duty um, gasser and I, I just I loved the amount of space on the inside of that thing so let's do a quick walk around this is the off-road package so with the off-road package you get um, these tuned Bilstein shocks and from what I hear, uh, the ride uh, with the off-road package is a little bit better than the sport package, just because the shocks have a little bit more give to them, um, so they're a little bit more compliant with bumps and, and stuff, which makes sense, because obviously for off-road, they're going to have to be able to um, absorb more impact. So on the back, you get the badges all blacked out again, and obviously you get the big old ram blacked out, which is cool. So the tailgate is not a power tailgate in that it does not automatically come down and go up with a button, either in the cab or on the remote. But it is power actuated. It doesn't actually have a lever. It has a button back here. You click it, it releases it, and it is not... Um, an assist opening it just drops down and same thing going up it is not an assist close uh, but that's okay so inside the bed I actually carried over from my Chevy the decked drawer system which is amazing I'll do a separate video on that I'm not going to get into that in this video if you want to take a look at that stay tuned let's take a quick look at the inside of the rear here this is the big horn trim um, so it's certainly not the uh, the most luxurious that you're gonna find uh, in these Rams um, but it is a notch above the tradesman you do get soft touch on the doors with nice stitching um, you get this cloth insert here and this kind of faux black wood trim which does come with the night packages I believe um, nice aluminum finish uh, trim here and the handles as well as the the locks so I do have some stuff in the back here um, let's see a lot more space back here this is for my uh, 
my girlfriend's a little bit too <laughs> a little bit too tall for her to get into without this step so I just have this collapsible step that I keep in here um, the seats do fold up and once you fold up the seats you do get these uh, kind of flat boards that can fold out and it actually has these feet that let you fold it flat and take up the space down here so you have a nice big flat surface uh, to put some larger items on when you have the seats folded up and you do also have storage uh, not a ton but you do have some storage underneath there you have two cup holders right here and this model did come with uh, the rubber mats which are clutch and these go all the way across the back and then obviously they're in the the front as well um, so with this I do not have USB ports back here but uh, I do have ventilation and you have a little cubby there and again you have kind of your black trim like I said you have two cup holders here you have two right there so on the driver's side you do have power adjustable seat in this model um, as well as power foot pedals uh, this does not come with the larger uh, dash display it comes with the the smaller I believe three or four inch uh, display but it is very nice it's a uh, high quality and it's full color which is cool all right so now we're inside the truck uh, I believe all the models at least big horn and above are um, push to start which is sweet I wish it was keyless entry um, on the big horn at least the one I have it is not keyless entry um, you do need to unlock it with the fob and uh, you know access the door handle like you would a normal vehicle um, it doesn't have sensors or anything on the door handles that let you unlock it and lock it upon exit just by touching it um, but that is okay so we'll start it up uh, I am in New York and it is the end of May so we do have some cold mornings and right now let's see See what the temperature is okay so it's about 54 degrees out um, and you do see that it does do the diesel preheat um, because it is you know kind of chilly out so it just did a few seconds of diesel preheat so the globe plugs are nice and warm we'll give it a start <laughs> Okay, so it is running. Um, the 2021 is definitely, I believe also the 2020s, uh, they did something to the engine or at least the engine compartment, um, which really uh, brought the cabin noise um, for the engine down. I believe even the, the exterior noise of the engine uh, kind of was brought down a little bit too. Uh, you can still definitely hear it. It's definitely louder than a gas from inside the cabin um, so some of the other features of this truck you do have uh, a manual four-wheel drive selector so four high four low two-wheel drive and then this having the off-road package does have the hill descent control um, which is pretty cool I'm not sure how I'll use that uh, but you do also have some steering wheel controls in this model This will get you through all of your menus up here, which there are a lot I do like that. It gives you a lot of stuff to look at on that center display It'll definitely keep you busy in all the points of Information that you're probably going to want to look at you should be able to find right in that display uh, Your cruise control displays are over here. This is your gear limiter and then these are, you know, the, the controls for going through all your menus on the rear of the wheel on the left and on the right. You have uh, volume and station controls. This is all your climate control stuff. If you had the 12 inch display, all of this stuff would kind of be baked into the display. But since we don't have that, 
it's not, which I do kind of like. I like having the physical buttons, especially for mute and screen off. Uh, when it's really dark out and you're on a road trip and you're not using the screen for anything, it can really uh, screw with your eyes having all that light beaming out at you. So the screen off button is pretty clutch. Uh, this does have heated seat, heated wheel, heated passenger seat. Um, down here, you have your trailer brake controller. You have your exhaust brake, your tow haul, your front parking, or this is your rear parking sensor off, your front parking sensor off. So if these lights are not illuminated, that means they are both on. Your tow haul gives you a full mode and a auto mode. Uh, I find the auto mode to be the most useful because the full, anytime you're not giving input to the throttle, the exhaust brake is going to engage and you're going to slow down. Um, sort of like a, an electric vehicle where it just doesn't have a, a coast mode. It's, it's either on or regenerating. Um, so for situations like going through town where you kind of want to coast up to you know a, a light um, the full mode is gonna really force you to be on that throttle uh, if you're gonna be planning on going anywhere so the auto mode is pretty sweet in that what it does at least from my experience and what I can tell is it's gonna engage as you engage the brakes it also does a very 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 good job of holding your speed going down large grades. So if I'm on the highway and I go start to go over a steep grade at like 75 miles an hour, and as soon as the truck hits 76, 77, it's gonna engage, and this is not even in cruise control, it's gonna engage that exhaust brake for just a few seconds to bring me back down to where I was before I started going over that hill. And once I'm back at like 75, It'll uh, engage or disengage that brake, and it'll keep doing that to kind of control what the speed's at, which is pretty cool. Um, so you have your 12 volt DC up here. I do wish, what I really don't like is how they did not include a 110 in here. Every truck I've had in like the last four or five years has had multiple 110s, either in the cab or back in the bed. You know, it doesn't take much to wire in a 110. Um, it, you know, it's kind of silly to me that they're gonna include that in, in some sort of higher, you know, technology package. Uh, you give us four USBs there. There's another USB in here. Um, you know, you got a 12 volt, volt DC up here, which is totally useless. I don't know why they would put that there. Uh, you know, anything that you are gonna have wired to the um, window like a dash cam or a radar detector or something now you're gonna have to have the wire just dump to right here versus having it you know up and tucked away in the trim and down to here because you don't even have a 12 volt down here anymore so I don't like that uh, but as far as inside goes that's really my biggest complaint otherwise it's nice and roomy comfortable I really like the layout and I really like uh, the look. It's a sweet looking truck. Um, and for the money, in my opinion, you're gonna get a much higher quality vehicle than you're gonna get with a Chevy and with a Ford. That's my opinion. I've looked at them all and for the money, you're not gonna get a nicer looking interior for the money. You're just not, it's just not gonna happen. Um, but obviously everybody will kind of have their own opinion on that. So this is uh, what it sounds like from the outside. All right guys, so that's a quick overview of the new truck. I know I didn't go over everything, but I wanted to hit some of the important parts 
just give you my impressions after about two weeks of ownership. Any questions or if you want anything more specific, feel free to leave something in the comments. Appreciate you watching. Please come back.